And if you want to transport yourself someplace, not have to worry about driving or parking, you might get an Uber. But if you want to arrange for a bunch of adorable animals to come to you, you'll Zuber. We Zubered to get to the Zuber Mobile Petting Zoo to our station. So Fox Carolina's Haley Spittler is outside introducing us to the concept and the sweet babies. What do you have, Haley? This is a sweet little bunny. It doesn't have a name yet, so I'm going to try and push that maybe it should be Haley. Haley Grace. I'm liking the sound of it. They have so many animals here right outside the station. We're next to a pony. We've got a calf, some alpacas in the background. We will show you around all these animals, but first I want to introduce you to the owners. This is Katie and Jesse. So tell me how you guys came up with such a genius idea. I had some friends that had kids and asked me to bring some of my farm animals to the birthday parties, which I thought was bizarre because I've been farming for 20 years and I just, it just didn't seem like a good idea to me. But I looked it up and sure enough, it's a thing. I was working with Jessie at a veterinarian office and uh, we started talking about it for about six months and then she had animals, I had animals and we just combined them and we've been going since January of last year and we're booked every weekend now just about. So. Yeah, you guys were saying you're very busy. Yesterday you were out of college, you do birthday parties. What are some other events people have booked you for? Um, we do a lot of nursing homes, um, town festivals. Uh, we've actually been to a couple of baseball games. Um, <clears throat> what was that baseball team? The Four City Owls. The Four City Owls wanted us to come when they played uh, the Asheboro Zookeepers, yeah. so we brought the animals to help them taunt the other team. <laughs> hey, it makes sense. If both baseball teams have animal names, you might as well bring some actual animals. While these are adorable, there are also probably a lot of work to take care of. Talk to me all about that. It is 24-7 trying to take care of them. Um, all, all the different species just have a, a bunch of different needs. Um, so you have to learn what kind of parasites they can get, what kind of illnesses they can get. But um, other than that, you definitely just have to constantly feed, clean water, yep. clean some more, yeah, clean some more. <laughs> there's no clocking in and out with this. I mean, if it's raining, if it's snowing, if it's 100 degrees, if it's 10 degrees, I mean, we're out there doing this all day long. So. <laughs> and how many animals would you guess you guys have now? 54. She there is no guessing. It is exactly 54. I know you said your rentals start at $300, and I mean, it goes up from there. What do you get in that smaller range, and how do you decide how many animals one can fit, like, in, on their lawn? Um, so we have a mini package we can do for younger kids. Um, we can actually put that in a screen porch or a really tiny backyard. Um, <clears throat> so that's just a couple of goats, but that's, I mean, um, so it's just a couple of goats, a chicken, and a rabbit. But it's really good for the younger kids. And then uh, we go all the way up to bringing all of this and also including pony rides. Um, so it's really just up to the customer and they can figure out like what they really want and like the kids' favorite animals and everything. Yeah. Well, you brought us everything, so I think it's time we show around. So yeah, we were just looking at the bunnies over there. And you said this is the smallest you can get for a floppy-eared bunny, is that right? Yeah, that's right, yeah, a Holland Lop. A Holland Lop. And then tell me about this one over here. He's a big guy. You said you guessed that he was the vet said he was 13 pounds, but you think he might be heavier? He feels heavier, for yeah. sure. <laughs> that's Harry Houdini. Um, he's a French lop, and that's the biggest lop eared rabbit you can get. He just turned a year old. He's just now a year old. There's two little baby chicks in there. They're going to be chickens. Yeah, I'm actually Easter eggers. Easter eggers. Um, green and blue eggs. Oh, how pretty. Green and blue eggs. And we're going to push for the names Fox and Carolina on those ones. <laughs> and then these are probably a crowd favorite. These are your baby goats. They are 12 weeks old. They're still bottle fed. They're all named after candy bars. Is that right? Yes. So we have Snickers, Milky Way, Whatchamacallit, and Twix. And there's also a pig in there. Oh, yes. That's Ginger. Yeah. Ginger. Rented out for photography sessions with little kids, so yeah, she's pretty famous. <laughs> and you can tell Ginger's pretty calm there. This next pig, I'm gonna call my spirit animal. This one is 10 weeks old and has just been kind of sunbathing. Tell me more about this one. So this is Wendy, and we do have to put sunscreen on her. You see how red she gets, so we have to be careful with the sun. But yeah, so pigs this age, they sleep most of the day. Um, and I tell everybody, pigs are better than kids sometimes and puppies because they potty train in a day and they sleep all night long. So. And then I think before we go, we should show off some of these bigger animals. Let's look at the alpacas. We have some treats we can uh, give them really quickly. And you guys said these ones are 14 years old, is that right? And um, they'll actually be sheared tomorrow, so they will look completely different tomorrow. <laughs> They're about to get all their fur cut off. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I don't know. They're even interested in the treats here. No? Oh, they maybe already are full. Should we try maybe? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Here we go. 
little, come here. Do you want some? <laughs> and she's like, I'm on a diet. Doesn't feel like the treat. There we go. Oh my goodness, so much fun. I love the name, such an easy way to get some animals to your house for a party, for any sort of event. Thank you guys so much for uh, bringing them up, setting them right outside the station, but Margaret, I'll send it back to you. You're gonna be out there for a while, playing around with those, and you just get in time for midday. Uh, have fun, thank you very much, Haley.